Hi, I'm uh, Arthur Trio. I'm a game developer at uh, Mantis. I uh, primarily did uh, architecture for the game and uh, also made some mechanics for uh, Journey for Elysium. One of the main mechanics in the game is the boat and the rowing. Instead of moving around in VR, which doesn't feel that realistic, we chose to have a boat in there, which feels much more immersed and is a new and fun way to move around in VR. Another mechanic we implemented was the bow. Bow and arrow is something everyone does the first time when they have VR. For example, the lab has a simple bow and everyone instantly knows how, how it works, it's fun. So we added it to the game because it also fits in the story perfectly. I'm uh, Gilles van der Stende. I'm a game designer working at Mantis and I work primarily on the prototype for Journey for Elysium. So a game like Journey for Elysium has a lot of different mechanics that all need to be designed, uh, prototyped and tested. Uh, and so uh, we have a process internally uh, to do that. How the process works is we take each individual mechanic that we need to develop and we assign it to a very small team, one, maybe two people at the most. And they take uh, some time perhaps a week, perhaps two weeks, to uh, really make a deep dive on that uh, feature and uh, develop it in, uh, in isolation from the rest of the game. And that we can also then test that mechanic in isolation from the other game. This allows us to you know, keep, keep an agile workflow going where we can try, try out new things, and try different aspects, and Throw, even throw things away if they're not working without uh, you know, obstructing the rest of the game design or the, the rest of the production process. By putting this in VR, uh, it allows you to experience scale. It allows you to traverse through big environments. That's what I think a really uh, cool mechanic in the game because it also brings some rest and it brings some contemplation in it uh, as you traverse through these uh, big environments. Uh, the other thing is that there are really good puzzles. So you need to solve different puzzles, which requires good thinking, good looking and so on. And we have some cool mechanics of which we can't tell everything right now, but we have a really cool mechanics in place uh, for that one. Since VR is so new, it's sometimes difficult to fix certain problems we're encountering. Like we would make um, objects too small or too big and people are getting motion sick just from that, that they can't place themselves in the world in a sense. Um, also, interactions have to feel good, like just simple rumble on the controller when stretching the bow is something that adds much more to it, but if you don't do it, it feels off. So the challenges are so weird sometimes, but it's, it's the small things that, that make it. The real big challenge was uh, figuring out how to handle motion sickness. Because if you look at it from, you know, take a little distance from it, uh, VR is, as a medium is notorious for causing motion sickness. And uh, boating or being on, out on the water is another thing where people notoriously get sick sometimes just from being on a boat. So we were tasked with trying to simulate something that made people sick in a medium that could potentially make people sick. So we didn't make it easy for ourselves, but uh, it was a tremendous learning experience and we you know, this found out a lot of uh, cool things. Uh, for instance, one thing we quickly uh, found out for ourselves was that there is such a thing as VR legs. It's a sort of tolerance to the motion sickness you uh, experience during when playing VR games. Downside of this is that as a developer slash tester, uh, you very quickly develop these VR legs, but that also means you quickly lose your ability to uh, estimate for other people just how uh, comfortable or uncomfortable something might be in virtual reality. What I like about developing for VR, it's all new. There are no standards for how to make stuff. Also, 
when you make a mechanic, normally you can say, oh, let's make this mechanic and we'll bind it to a button and we'll see. But in VR, you're there, you have to grab stuff, interact with it. And it's another way of thinking, but it's much more fun and immersive and to see people play it, they're literally moving around and stuff. It's much more fun. We went to a few conventions with, uh, with the team. One of them was Gamescom, which was a lot of fun. Um, it's always rewarding to see people play the game and enjoy the, themselves in it. Because when you're working so long on a game, you start to doubt if it's actually fun. But people playing it and testing it is really rewarding and also helps for development. Seeing how many people get motion sick, we're actually counting it. There aren't that many. Um, and there was also uh, a guy from Oculus who came, it was pretty funny, and uh, he said, the boating is delicious. 